Face ID replaces Touch ID on the iPhone 10. Rather than scanning your fingerprint, it scans your face. Face ID is used for everything that Touch ID was. Unlocking your phone, Apple Pay, iTunes and App Store purchases, and opening other secured apps. Any app that used Touch ID will automatically use Face ID on the iPhone 10. During the first setup of your iPhone 10, the Face ID system, using the True Depth camera, is going to scan your face as you rotate your head, like we see in this video. Moving your head around to different angles allows you to utilize Face ID without needing to bring the phone directly in front of your face each time Face ID is required. This is a big deal because it makes using Face ID a much more natural process. From my experience so far, you have about a 30 degree offset in every direction where Face ID will work. So many times when you pick up your iPhone 10, it will unlock as you bring it up to look at the screen. Mine is often unlocked before I'm ready to swipe up for the home screen. Face ID also works well in my car. I mount my iPhone, like a lot of people, over towards the center of the dash. So with me in the driver's seat, my face is a few feet back and over to the left of the phone. But when I wake the phone, like in this video, Face ID unlocks it pretty quickly. The only failures that I've had so far with Face ID has been when I was wearing both sunglasses and either a hat or a hood. But these failures don't occur every time while wearing those items. So if you're getting a Face ID error, which is displayed on the phone by shaking the lock icon. Try Face ID from a slightly different angle. There are some Face ID options in the Settings app and Face ID and Passcode. In here, we can deactivate Face ID for certain services or apps. Without Face ID on, you'll just need to enter your passcode for those items. We also have Attention Requirements and Attention Aware features. With this first one on, the True Depth camera system needs to verify that you're looking at the phone to unlock with Face ID. Yes, it can track your eyes even through glasses. Turning this off can cause Face ID to unlock much easier. It just needs to recognize your face whether you're looking at the phone or not. But this does decrease security a bit. Next, we have Attention Aware features. With this one, when you're looking at your phone, the screen won't dim and alerts won't be played at full volume. I'm not really sure why anyone would want to turn this off because it's pretty cool. Finally, we can reset Face ID here. If you're getting a lot of Face ID errors, doing a reset will let you rescan your face and hopefully improve the results. Next up, we'll look at gestures on the iPhone 10. You can learn much more about how to use iOS 11 for both iPhone and iPad with our full What's New and Core Concepts tutorials. Check them out at themacu.com.